All right, I'm going to run over here and start this video. It's not going to be a long one, but hey, man, shout out to Black Tusk over there on Twitter for showing me this. I do appreciate you, man. Black Tusk on Twitter, shout out. Anyways, here we go. Oh, wrong emote. Ah, that's fitting. All right, here we go. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But in today's video, I am telling you today, farm for the Eagle Bearer and Bighorn today. The Eagle Bearer and Bighorn will have its best chance for you to drop today. Okay? So I'm telling you right now, you want to pay attention to this. Now, before we jump into that, let's talk about the exotics, okay? So first up, we have the Eagle Bearer. Now, I'm saying farm this today. It is a exotic assault rifle. Now, this exotic assault rifle can only be obtained in two different ways. The first one is the Dark Hours Raid. The second way is the Dark Zone, okay? Now, just a quick overview on this exotic. It is an exotic P416. It comes with headshot damage as the bottom attribute, and it also comes with two talents. It comes with Eagle's Strike, which increases your accuracy the more you are firing the weapon. And then it comes with Tenacity, which once you get a headshot kill, it procs Tenacity. And then if you get three additional kills while that buff is active, you actually don't take any incoming damage while that buff is active. It's really cool really really fun exotic to run um, this was a fan favorite as soon as it came out however then it got nerfed because a lot of people were hating on it because they didn't have it and now it's been released into the dark zone so now everyone and their mom are all up in arms about it again um, but for me personally I love this weapon for two things in this game one being conflict pvp and the other one being the dark hours raid I actually love this weapon in the raid so, here's a quick build for my Eagle Bearer. I use this in both Conflict PvP and the Dark Hours Raid. The only difference is, is during the raid, I'll switch my specialization from Sharpshooter over to Survivalist. That way I could use that specialization weapon during Razorback. Um, but yes, so that is the Eagle Bearer. Now let's talk about the Bighorn. Okay. Now, the Bighorn, this is the exotic assault rifle that is linked behind the legendary bosses, legendary content. So for this one, you can get it in any of the legendary strongholds, any of the legendary summit, you know, boss floors, anything like that. You can get this weapon. However, it was also recently added to the Dark Zone along with the Eagle Bearer. And you can already see where this video is starting to go. <laughs> The Dark Zone. Okay. Now, quick overview for the Bighorn. It is an exotic um, assault rifle with crit hit damage as that bottom attribute. And then the talent Big Game Hunter. Now, when you are scoped in, it will switch the weapon from automatic to semi-automatic. And it will deal 450% more weapon damage each shot. So you can switch this weapon from an assault rifle basically to a rifle. Now, headshots will grant you headshot damage, and it will give you stacks. So you can stack your headshot damage up another 100%. Now, once you're at full stacks, 10 stacks will decay every 4 seconds until all stacks are removed. Headshots will delay the decaying. Okay, so you want to do headshots with the Bighorn all day. Headshots. Okay? Now... This one's sitting at 133.2k total damage, expertise level 15, everything else is maxed out. Now, uh, this one does have a really high rate of fire of 800 RPM. All right, now you have seen the two exotics, okay? So why am I making this video? Well, it just so happens that the targeted loot for DZ West is assault rifles. So you can get it right now in Dark Zone West. The Eagle Bearer, the Bighorn, right now, farm DZ West. That's what this video is all about. Farm DZ West. And just because of that, I'll do a little bit of farming and get you out of here. But that is going to be your video for today. 
you are going to want to farm DZ West. This will be your biggest opportunity to get both the Eagle Bear and the Big Horn. Now remember, these are not really strong drop chances. However, with it being the targeted loot, this will be the best chance you have in the game to get these to drop in the dark zone while it is the targeted loot because this will give you more of a chance to get these exotic assault rifles. Now remember, there is the chameleon exotic assault rifle, the eagle bearer, and the bighorn. So it, it's really not too much to go off of, all right? So let me go ahead. We'll do just a little bit of farming. I'll just hit a few landmarks, something like that, and then we'll get you out of here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Take care, everyone. Peace. All right, let's do a little bit of DZ West farming. Not too much, but we'll, we'll have some fun. Do a few minutes. I'll start with the chest, and then I'll do some landmarks. We'll extract, maybe head a DZ uh, supply drop, something like that. Oh, that one's been taken. And we have a heroic up here. I'll try to hit that. Now, I don't care if, you know, anyone does any PvP or anything. I already have the weapon. But uh, it would be nice to get one to drop right here, right now. We'll see. I'm not getting my hopes up, though. There he is. Ooh, peace can. Disconnected. Yo, is it about to delta me? No, it's deltaing me. Why is it deltaing me? Nope. Oh. Now I can't shoot. What the hell? Alright, well, welcome to the dark zone, everyone. Ah, <sighs> whatever. Oh, and I got the landmark cleared. Hey, with a delta. Stupid. Why did I delta there? I, I stole the chest and then it deltaed me? I don't know. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Hey, guys, farm this today, and you can get delted 58,000 times like I do. <laughs> All right, I'm back. There we go. All right. All right. And they don't do the thing anymore where they put you in an empty DZ, so... You just get thrown right back into the D the same DZ, which is fine. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Someone just called in an extraction. Alright, where's that extraction? All the way up north. Dang, dude. Alright, let's go see if they have it. I'm gonna go see if they have the uh, Eagle Bear. I don't care. We already got Delta. I'm not even... Let's just jump into it. Come on. Wonder if I can make it. 0.5 away. We'll see. I'm gonna go take their stuff. See if they have an eagle bear. Run! And that is part of the dark zone, okay? I mean, let's get real, everyone. It is a PvP VE area with a high emphasis on the PvP. So it is a, you know, what did Terry and uh, Red Storm say way back in the day during Stay of the Game? It's a high-risk, high-reward area. So you do have, you know, 
the opportunity of getting ganked. We'll see, though. We'll see. And if you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, what are you waiting on? Come on. What are the odds that I steal a uh, Eagle Bearer right now? What are the odds? All right, I have one minute. Go, 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 go. But anyways, what I would do if I were you trying to farm one of these exotics, I would go for supply um, drops. I would go for the heroic landmarks. Things like that. Yo, I barely made it. I barely made it over here. Jeez, dude. 20 seconds to spare. Oh, I just heard a drone. There we go. Eagle bear, eagle bear, eagle bear, eagle bear, eagle bear. No eagle bear. Womp, womp, womp. All right. Ran all the way over here for some DZ resources, but that's just a part of it. I mean, let's be real. It's the dark zone. Ooh, we have explosive seeker mines. Where are they at? I mean, I'll do a little bit of PvP real quick. I don't care. Bring it. There we go. One coming up. Down. Nice. Nice seeker mine, man. Alright. Might even do a quick little... Might even try to do a quick little solo Manny. We'll see. I doubt it. Because as soon as this crap happens, we have a, a whole team that just jumps up and they're like, Hey! Ooh, I'm going to go to that extraction real quick. Alright, DZ South, let's go. Or DZ South, or the South Extraction, I mean, not DZ South. I'm coming, I'm coming. I have a minute before my timer goes away, so I need to hurry up. No, stop trying to throw a grenade. Run, dude. Run, bro, run! We got this. Thirty seconds. Come on. Run, dude, run. Run, run, run as fast as you can. about to be gone. Yep. There it is. Ooh, someone just went rogue. Ooh. I like. Hey, I remember you. Look at all these people. What are they doing? What are these guys doing? Yo, what are these guys doing right now? What even is this? Oh my gosh. Whatever. <laughs> Yo. Three of them just went rogue on me and they all three died. What the hell? I was expecting me to get rolled up real quick. 3v1. Come on. Yo, did me calling in the flare just destroy the drone? Holy shit. 
That was hilarious. All right, we'll extract and get out of here. Okay, people. Yo, why are they lagging? Oh my god, am I about to get kicked? Yo, I'm about to get kicked. I'm getting kicked. What the hell, man? I'm about to hit another Delta. What is that? <laughs> yeah, I'm about to get delta again. Yeah, I'm getting delted. Yep. What's going on here? All right, whatever. GG's dark zone. GG's. This is why I PVP in conflict. Stupid. This is stupid. Look at this. What? Now I'm getting shot in the back. Gotta love this. Gotta love it. I don't even know what's going on here, people. I'm sorry. Yeah, farm this today. Just don't farm this today in my lobby. <laughs> you farm this today in my lobby, you might have a problem. I can't even put the stuff on the rope. Oh my gosh, whatever. Get me out of here. Oh.